Hello friends, I am Lori Baracco and I welcome you to my weekly predictions for the week of April 14th, 2024. And for the month of April, I have been using the Bee Tarot by Christopher Hughes and the artwork is by Nadia Turner. Alrighty, so away we go. I'm gonna give my cards a nice shuffle and then I will select my three cards to see what the collective cosmic influences will be for us. All right, here's one from the front of the deck, the middle, and the back of the deck. All right, so we have three reversed cards. So I know that there are people who have a lot of questions about the reversed card. So what does reversed mean? It means when the card shows up upside down. Now, some people do like, they prefer actually, to um, re turn the cards around and have them all facing upright. There's no wrong way. The most important thing when it comes to um, a tarot reading is to trust your intuition and to go with what's coming through psychically. All right, so here we go. The first card we have is the moon reversed. The second card is the five of cups reversed. And then we have the third um, card, which is the princess of pentacles reversed, which is the page of pentacles reversed. So right off the bat, I'm receiving the message that we may be accused of being a little aloof this, these days, um, not caring, disconnected, cold, distant. And I feel that um, it's more of a safety measure, like, like a self a safety response to not be pulled into um, other people's drama, other people's situations. With, with the recent eclipses and all of these cosmic influences that have created a lot of um, upheaval for many people. So it's created the, these um, paths of inner healing, inner work, and so on and so forth. And sometimes we just need a little bit of time to disconnect and to regroup and to sort things through. It doesn't mean we're not caring. It doesn't mean we're not available to other people, but we really may need to unplug and kind of go underground. I call it going off the grid and just tending to your own stuff and and sorting things through and give, giving yourself some time to woosah and to regenerate and to just, just take a moment to assess things for yourself and to sort through things and to disconnect and to release some baggage that maybe is not serving at this time. So the reason um, or the meaning behind some of the messages here are with the um, moon reversed, it is... Um, Maybe feeling that what's going on is an illusion and you don't want to kind of engage in it. The second one was that five of cups reversed, which is um, trying not to be in that space of rehashing things, right? And carrying your wounding with you all over, all over the place, so the old stuff that doesn't matter anymore. And then that third one was that page of pentacles reversed. And so, um, Mm, as seasoned souls, we don't need to be rehashing everything all the time. And as a seasoned soul, we know that we don't have to um, make sure everybody's okay, right? And to people please and over overcompensate in, in the relationships and situations that we know that are not for our highest and best good, that it's best to disconnect and distance ourselves, kind of go underground and off the grid. All right, I hope the messages resonated and a lot of times people will respond to me and, and let me know to, and, and comment that that's exactly where I've been. Thank you for that validation. I needed that. And so please feel free to comment, to share, um, and let me know if the messages resonated. Thank you so much for tuning in each and every week. I am Lori Baracco. Namaste. Bye-bye.